Mr. Standish H. O'Grady in his Silver Gedelica has given us a translation from an old Celtic manuscript contained in the Book of Lismore, the Colloquy of the Ancients. This is stated to have been taken from a still more ancient work which is now lost, the Book of Monaster Boyce. In this colloquy, we have a conversation reported which was supposed to have taken place between St. Patrick and the last of the Alphenia of Ireland. It is interesting as giving us some idea of the wisdom and philosophy of the early Irish Celts. Quilcha, the Fenian, states that Finn, the chief, had given the following rules of conduct to his grandson, rules which, according to the narrative, must have been drawn up before the commencement of the Christian era. MacLuach If armed service be thy design, in a great man's house be quiet, be surly in the rugged past. Without a fault of his beat, not thy hound, until thou ascertain her guilt, bring not a charge against thy wife. In battle, meddle not with a buffoon, for, O MacLuach, he is but a fool. Censor not any if he be of grave repute. Stand not up to take part in a brawl. Neither have anything at all to do with either a mad or a wicked one. Two thirds of thy gentleness to be shown to women and to creepers on the floor, that is, little children. Likewise to men of art that make the doings, and be not violent to the common people. With thy familiars, with them that are of thy counsel, hasten not to be the first into bed. Perverse alliance shun, and all that is prohibited. Yield not thy reverence to all. Utter not swaggerish speech, nor say that thou wilt not render the thing that is right, for a shameful thing it is to speak too swiftly, unless that it be feasible to carry out thy word. So long as in the universe thou shalt exist, thy chief forsake not, neither for gold nor for other valuable in the earthly world abandon thou thy guarantee, that is, him that places himself under thy protection. To a chief utter not strenuous criticism of his people, for it is not a good man's occupation to abuse a great lord's people to their chief. Be not a continually tattling tale-bearer, nor a false one. Be not loquacious nor censorious rashly. Be the multiplicity of thy chivalrous qualities what it may, yet have thou not the iract's hostility inclined to thee. Be not a frequenter of the drinking house, nor given to carping at old men. The conduct thou hearest recommended, that is right. Meddle not with a man of mean estate. Deal not in refusing of thy meat, and any that is penurious have not for a familiar. Force not thyself upon a chief, nor give a chief lord occasion to speak ill of thee. Stick to thy raiment, hold fast to thine armature, until the stern fight with its weapon glitter be well ended. Never renounce to back thy luck, yet follow after gentleness, MacLuach. Succession and benediction, said Patrick. A good story it is that thou hast told us here. And where is Brogan the scribe? Brogan answered, Here, holy cleric, be that tale written by thee. And Brogan performed it on the spot. <laughs>